Namaste. Children, we are back with the third and the last part of the French Revolution, which is the first chapter of the ninth standard history. In the previous two videos, we learned about the entire chapter. We covered every portion of the French Revolution. And uh, in this particular video, we are going to talk about the terms and events, the timeline, the important personalities, and some of the pictures and paintings of this particular chapter. But before I start the terms and events, let me recommend my two videos. If you could not watch them, I would request you to watch the previous two videos of this chapter so that you can get the entire in-depth of the French Revolution. So now, let us begin with the terms and events. And these terms and events are very important because in uh, almost every examination, the one mark questions are asked from the timeline, from the terms and events, important personalities and in recent years, some of the questions have also been asked from the paintings and the pictures of the chapter. So let's have a look at the important terms and events. Clergy. It was a group of people invested with special functions in the church that you have been taught in the first video that the society of France was divided into three estates and the first estate was also known as the clergy. Second term is Tithe. It was a tax levied by the church which was the one-tenth of the agricultural produce. Next, Tile. It was also a tax to be paid directly to the state. Subsistence crisis. It was an extreme situation where the basic means of livelihood are endangered. For further explanation, I must tell you, when the fundamental needs of a human being or the physiological needs of a human being is endangered, that kind of crisis is known as subsistence crisis. Next, anonymous. That means one whose name remains unknown. In Hindi, you can also call it Gumnam. Jiska naam pata na ho. That kind of uh, man. Or that kind of letter, that kind of painting, ki ye pata na ho, ki isko kisne banaya hai, to aise paintings ko log anonymous bolte hai. Next, a chateau. It was a castle or stately residence belonging to a king or a nobleman. Yaan pe ek chiz mein aapko batana chata hu, chateau in fact is a similar term and the plural of chateau is chatox. Next, menor. It was an estate consisting of a lord's lands and his mansion. For your further explanation, just look at the picture of manor. Next, convent. It was a building belonging to a community devoted to a religious life. You can also look at the picture of a convent. Next, Treason. It was a betrayal of one's country or government. Hindi mein isko kehte hain desh droh. So that charge of treason was imposed on the King Louis XVI. Desh droh ka aarop lagana. Next, Negroes. It was also a term used for the indigenous people of Africa, south of Sahara. Africa ke dhatri hisse mein jo log rehte the, unko Negroes कहते थे लेकिन यहां पे आपको एक चीज जानना है दिस वर्ड हैज बीन वेरी ऑफेंसिव आज आप ऐसे शब्दों का इस्तेमाल किसी अफ्रीकन के लिए नहीं कर सकते नेक्स्ट टर्म इज इमेनिसिपेशन दैट मींस एक्ट ऑफ फ्रीइंग इन हिंदी यू कॉल इट मुक्ति नेक्स्ट टर्म इज सेंसक्लोटिस मींस दोस विदाउट नीड विचेस I have talked about uh, sans in my previous videos. For further details, you can watch my previous two videos. Or you can see the picture of sans clotis here. Knee breeches. Knee breeches. Ghutte takka pehenne wala ek pradal ka kapda hota tha. You can look at the picture to understand this. Mosais. It was the national anthem of France. Next term is old regime. Means the government of France before 1789 was known as Old Regime. 
directory it was a five member board or it was a committee of five executives which ruled france from 1794 to 1799 next term is gelatin it was a machine that was used to behead the convicts during the reign of terror look at the picture to understand that next livre it was a french currency which discontinued in 1794 and now let's have a look at some of the political symbols which were used in the declaration of the rights of man and citizens and the first one is the broken chain it stands for the act of becoming free the bundle of rods of fasces that means one rod can be easily broken but not the entire bundle that also means the strength or you can also call it that the strength lies in unity next the eye within a triangle radiating light it means the all seeing eye stands for knowledge the rays of the sun will drive away the clouds of ignorance scepter it was the symbol of royal power normally the kings and the queens used to carry them on ceremonial occasions next snake biting its tail to form a ring it was a symbol of eternity next red fijian cap it was a cap worn by a slave upon becoming free next blue white red they were the national colors of france winged woman it was the personification of law the law tablet the law is the same for all it also means that everybody is equal in the eyes of law so these were a few important terms and the political symbols which are frequently asked in the examination and now let's talk about some important personalities louis 16th he was the king of france during the french revolution mary antoinette queen of france during the french revolution jean jacques rousseau he was a french philosopher who wrote a very popular book named the social contract Montesquieu he was also a french philosopher who wrote a book the spirits of the law john locke he was an english philosopher who wrote a book the two treaties of the government he was also known as the father of liberation abyssius he wrote a very famous pam pamphlet what is the third estate though he belonged to the first estate but he supported the commoners in making the constitution of france mirabeau he was also a very instrumental personality coming off nobility but he supported the third estate in the formation of the constitution maximilian robespierre he was the first elected ruler of france who followed the policy of reparation and his tenure is known as the reign of terror olympe de gaulle she was the first feminist who wrote the declaration of the rights of women and citizens jean paul marat he was a revolutionary journalist who said that the wealth should not influence the law napoleon he was a french general of france who declared himself to be the emperor of france in 1804 and now we we'll learn about timeline 1774 it was the year in which louis 16th 
as in the throne of France. Fifth of May, seventeen eighty-nine, the king called an assembly of the Estates General to pass the proposals for new taxes. Twentieth June, seventeen eighty-nine, the third estate representatives assembled and took the tennis court oath. They formed a national assembly. Fourteenth July, seventeen eighty-nine. The famous storming of the Bastille took place, and from there the French Revolution began. Fourth August, seventeen eighty-nine. The National Assembly passed a decree to abolish the feudal system of obligations and taxes. Fifth October, seventeen eighty-nine. Women marched to Versailles. And brought back the king Louis XVI with them to Paris. Seventeen ninety one. The National Assembly completed the draft of the new constitution. April seventeen ninety two. The National Assembly voted to declare war against Prussia and Austria. September twenty one, seventeen ninety two. Monarchy was abolished from France, and it was declared to be a republic. January twenty one, seventeen ninety three. The King Louis sixteenth was guillotined. Seventeen ninety three to seventeen ninety four. It was the period which was famous for reign of terror, which was the rule of Robespierre. July seventeen ninety four, Maximilian de Robespierre was arrested and executed. Eighteen zero four, Napoleon Bonaparte crowned himself to the Emperor of France. Eighteen fifteen, the famous Battle of Waterloo took place, in which the French general Napoleon was defeated. Eighteen forty-eight, slavery was permanently abolished from French colonies. Nineteen forty-six, it was a historical day in the history of women because they got the right to vote in France. There are some pictures and paintings in the French Revolution. Let's have a look at that. So this is what the French Revolution is all about. I hope you like it. And uh, as I have been uh, urging my viewers about the coronavirus, because we all need to be pretty cautious, so as to keep ourselves safe. So my request to all my viewers and your family members also is to stay home and stay safe. If you like it, please share it to your friends also. God bless you all. Thank you very much for watching.